بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله ابن القيم said رحمه الله تعالى something very beneficial in his book al fawaid which is very important for us to reflect on in the way in which we relate to this life and this is a reminder to myself first and foremost and then my brothers and sisters because it's easy for me to speak about these things and not practice that's very easy so we need these reminders in order to push us a little bit to remind us a little bit and encourage us a little bit to move us a little bit in the step of action and the practicing these uh these fawaid these benefits Ibn al-Qayyim he said rahimahullah ta'ala he said an-nas mundu khuliqu lam yazalu musafirin wa laysa lahum hadd aw hatta an rihalihim illa fi al-jannah النار. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he said that the people since they were created meaning since the time that they were created they continue to be travelers they continue to be travelers and they do not have a, 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 a choice in the matter or any uh, any choice or uh, way of altering things in their journey or no no ending except no ending to their journey except paradise or hellfire so habatifillah it shows us and this is uh, this affirms for us the statement of the salaf that they said a dunya Dar, dar al-amal. Wal akhira, dar al-jaza. That this life is the place of deeds. It's a time of deeds. It's the the time when we do good, do good, do good deeds. Because in fact, if you die right now, and say if you have a lot of wealth, say if you have a beautiful house. Say if you have two wives, three wives, four wives, and this is talking from the male perspective, and say if you have a lot of wealth, you have beautiful cars, you got your Lamborghini, you got your uh, Maserati, you got you know your 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 Mercedes Jeep, you, you know whatever, whatever cars you like, and you have fame. As soon as you die, and perhaps even before you die, they're going to begin dividing up your wealth. And all of it will leave you. You will be in the grave. So this was your time for deeds. Did you use it? Did you use those things to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And your relationships? Did they bring you closer to Allah or did they bring you further from Allah? And then you died, and that's it. Now everyone's dividing up your clothing. Everyone's dividing up your wealth. Your wives are remarrying. And now they're with other men. It's done. It's finished. Your relationship with them is now done. So this life is dar, dar al-amal. It's a time for deeds. And the hereafter is dar al-jaza. That means that's the time when you're going to be rewarded for what you did. Jaza, when we say jazakallah khairan, you know, may Allah reward you, jaza. So jaza, Dar al jaza refers to the time of reward. And that reward can be of two types. Jaza al khair or jaza al sharr. So it can be the reward of good or the reward of evil. The reward of evil would be what? Would be the punishment of the grave and the punishment in Jahannam. Wa'iyadhin billah min dhalika. Wa'iyadhin billah wa'iyakum min dhalika. May Allah protect us and you from Jahannam. And 
or Jazalah Khair, comfort in the grave and paradise. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who heed the warning in the call and be of those who do good deeds and worship Him and Him alone and avoid the muharramat and do those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that He loves wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.